So up, nerdy guys? It's Drive Talking Nerd, John Norgrove. We've got wife here. We're here for a, another 25 reviews of Beer Miss. I almost said review drive there. Uh, we're here for 25 reviews of Beer Miss. We're back at it again. Same bad time, different bad channel. Same bad channel, different bad time. We are watching Elf Buddies Musical Christmas, which is different than Elf... Elf with Will Ferrell. Buddies Sing and Cheer Along, which is technically the full name of the Will Ferrell live-action yeah. Elf movie. Elf... Buddy's Musical Christmas is a 2014 um, absolute identical fucking elf movie. But it's much shorter. But it's only 43 minutes long, and there's some more, there's some musical numbers that are a little different. Uh, and it's like craft animation. It's like claymation, but not. It's like the same kind of animation that, like, the 60s uh, stuff. Sort like, of. Like, kind of like the Rudolph and stuff. It's yeah, a bit more but, stylized. But those, like, obviously, like, the, this is not stop motion. Right? Yeah. I mean, this is clearly, like, animated and not stop motion like those were. But this is more, like, craft papery. Yeah. You know, this is a little bit less, like, here's a Rudolph that's a, like physical thing that looks cartoonish this was like almost like um like that uh what is that mario paper oh yeah kind yeah, of yeah. thing where it's like stylized craft papery which actually made it look pretty cool yeah it was pretty cool looking i i yeah. did like the look of it um it was but it was hyper stylized in look it had some extra musical numbers some different musical numbers yeah. something like that yeah. um the story it's shorter, was which basically makes it very the same thing but they cut out like like as almost much scene as they for scene possibly word for could. Word. Yeah. Like, it really is just a trimmed down elf. Movie. Well, especially the scene where Elf, where Buddy sits in, what's his name, the old dude's lap. Yeah. Like, that was like a, like, frame for frame. Yeah, this really like, is thing. like the it was same wild. movie. wild. Right? And so the, um, start with that. Our beer for the day, while I'm looking up the people who, who did the voice acting, is Firestone's Mind Haze IPA. You can see it is a hazy, it's quite hazy. IPA. It's quite hazy. Okay, so Buddy was voiced by Jim Parsons, Walter by Mark Hamill, Santa by Ed Asner, Jovi by Kate um, Micucci. Uh, Jay Leno played the first fake Santa. That's hilarious. Gilbert Gottfried was yeah, in there it. There was a ton of people, ton of people in it. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, you know what? I really enjoyed it, actually. You know, I was, uh, when I saw the previews and stuff, okay, first of all, we thought this was brand new for this year, because, like, <laughs> Cartoon Network has been talking about it. A lot. Like, a lot. Oh, it's coming, kind of blah, 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 blah. So we thought it was, like, new or some shit. Apparently it came out in 2014, yeah. and we just, like, missed that boat. But, um, no, it was really good. I, I yeah. enjoyed it. I mean, it's as good as Elf, because it's elf it's the same fucking movie but this yeah. once just you get past cracked. the like scene for scene reshoot basically of it because in the beginning it is a little off-putting and a little uncanny because you're basically used to somebody else doing all that physical stuff and because there really isn't a big difference it's very strange it's yeah. not until buddy leaves the North Pole and you see like the whales and whatever um, that you finally are kind of like oh this is it okay okay like I'm okay with this yeah uh, you yeah, know and yeah. there were some really interesting choices like the people in New York City um, that he bumps into they were all colored like a grayish blue yeah everything background was sort of like gray blue colored and yeah. only like foreground characters and things were like colored which is a pretty cool like stylization yeah contrast uh that's a thing that you see a lot in um there's a couple of animation houses for anime that do that sort of thing where background characters become like anybody in the background is just sort of like a like a gray sort of human effigy shape yeah and they don't have a lot of detail and stuff and it's because you you're not paying attention to that so like why do we have to waste our time yeah. sort of a thing uh which i i actually enjoy i like that a lot yeah. um what do you think the best bits for you were for this one? Honestly, I really like the part with the whales. The, the whales part, It reminded yeah. me very much of, like, the, you know, Island of Lost Toys and the Rudolph ones. All of those, like, 60s kind of things. It definitely reminded me of, like, a nouveau approach to that. Mm -hmm. And I thought that they were really, like fun the way that they were done with the animation style that they chose yeah it was super adorable i really liked it i mean it's basically the movie elf so how could you not like it but um you know that's that was my favorite bit what about you for me my favorite bit in the movie is probably 
when he's doing the like, oh, does, did Santa Claus know you're not at the workshop? To the like short boss. Oh, <laughs> because yeah. Because the animation, they do, they do a very like, um, uh, who is that? It's, it's like Mr. Fire and Mr. Ice. Remember that yeah. one? Where, you know, where he's the heat miser and... and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they kind of do, like, a lot of the, like, physical, like, he's turning red with anger. Yeah. Like, old-style cartoon things with that. And I, I really enjoyed that. I mean, overall, this was a, a pretty good movie. Um, what's his name? Jim Parson is the voice for Buddy. Is that what I said? Yeah, Jim Parsons. Um, it's close enough to Will Ferrell's buddy, but also different enough that it feels like it's its own character. Yeah. Like, it's a different kind of buddy. Jim Parsons' buddy is a little bit softer, is a little bit less... He's a um, little more childlike. Yeah, he's more childish. More I don't mean soft, like, 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 weak. I mean soft, like, he's not as... Will Ferrell has, a f like, a physicality that yeah. brings, like, intensity to the wind. He's doing something childish and weird, and you're like, oh, that's like a six-foot-four monster human doing that <laughs> in the streets in New York right now. Like, that's insanity. Yeah. Right? Um, whereas, the, as because of the animation style of this and, and because of the way that, that Jim Parsons played it, this buddy was felt a lot more like a scare kid in New York than like a giant crazy man who might just be a crazy elf person in New York. Um, yeah. So it, it was a little different there, but I, but it was still just as good in my opinion. Yeah. It was just different, which which isn't isn't an issue. But uh, so this this mind haze before we close yeah, this up. Is, uh... So six point two percent. Uh, hazy IPA. It's really good. It's really good. It's super it's like crisp. A juicy floral, yeah, it's juicy. A little a tropical. tropical fruit. Yeah. I'm really into that like tropical, juicy, hazy IPA life. And this I'm, is like perfect. I'm, I'm not also, a hazy tropical. Also, the juicy uh, IPA. the can is real fun because it's like foggy. Yeah. Uh, and it very much reminds me of. Uh, well, you know, living in the Bay Area, yeah, fog. <laughs> and now living up in the mountains where there's like mystical fog yeah. in the trees, tree fog. Tree fog. Tree fog yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, either way, I've been John Norgrove. This has been Wife. This is the 25 Reviews of Beer Miss. We watched Elf Buddies Musical. This one's a different name. Elf's Elf Buddies Musical Christmas, <laughs> and we uh, we drank Firestone Walkers Mind Haze IPA, and uh, yeah. Both were both were good. Yeah. Both were really good. This has been a this has been a good twenty five reviews of beer miss. That's uh, right. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, share, subscribe, ring the bell, uh, do all that stuff, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Uh, Merry beer miss to all. And to all a good pint.